Rosetter fans, Cheryl Baglioli here with Cheryl's Window, and I am proud to come to you today as a Zetter sister. I've been a fan of Zetter for quite a while, so I'm just excited that I'm part of the Zetter family now. Today I want to make a video for you, showing you one of the tools that I love to use. Those of you who know me know that I am a gadget junkie, and I love my tools, no doubt about it, and I use them. So, the Zetter Cutter it may not be a cutter that you use every single day for every project by any means. This is a power tool. This is for when you want to cut through thicker objects or you want to cut multiple items at one time. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it today in conjunction with the clipboard wood. It's thicker than chipboard. Um, it's like a compressed wood. It's clipboard wood is what it is. So you're not going to be able to run this through your regular paper cutter, but the Zutter cutter will cut it with no problem. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to use it with this project that I have in mind. You'll see right away that it's a good size tool, so it does have a big footprint for it. Um, so, but it has to be to be a power tool. So today we're going to use our clipboard wood and I have a couple different pieces here. I have two, they come in the covers, packages of two in a package. So I have two that are six by six and I have two that are three by four. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to cut these that are three by four and I wanna cut them by two inches. So there's markings on your Zutter cutter that show you where it's going to line up. So I'm gonna line this up like this on the two inch mark and then we have locks in place and you can adjust them to the thickness of the material that you're using. You want it to be snug, but not, you don't want it to move, but you don't want it so tight that you're breaking the wood either. So once it's set in place, this isn't gonna move anywhere. We have these knobs, this knob that's on top of the Zutter cutter. One, two, three, and four. These are adjustments that determine how deep the blade is coming through. So something like chipboard wood, I'm gonna start with the one. So we're gonna turn it on one, it's gonna bring the blade out a little bit. There's a little small blade that's underneath here. And this is your handle to hold on to the Zutter cutter so that it doesn't like flip over when you're trying to cut. So we're just going to bring one cut through, bring it across, bring it down to two. Sometimes if it's too, if it's not thick enough, it may not even touch the blade, but it's a good idea to start at one until you're familiar with it. So we'll move it down to two, and now I can feel that it's starting to go through and it just cut the surface. It can't cut through the chipboard all at once, it would ruin your blade, so we're gonna bring it down to three. Now if I stop at three, it would just score it, but I wanna cut all the way through, so I'm gonna bring it all the way down to four, and then cut it all the way. Unlock it, and you'll see that I have two pieces here that are cut at two inches. Now I want to take my six piece, and I'm making a project. That is going to hold my tape. So I want to cut this piece off first. I'm going to cut an inch off of it. First, I'm going to line it up with the one inch mark that's underneath there. And we're going to cut the one inch off. Two, three. It's kind of sliding around because my mat is sliding. And four machine itself is not going to slide in here. So I took my one inch off. Now I want to score at two inches. So I'm going to bring this over to two and I'm going to lock it down. And I'm going to bring it to two and then three. And that Hopefully did not cut all the way through it. No. So I have this nice little score mark now, which is what I wanted. So now you see that I have a piece that's scored. 
I have a piece that's cut off, and I have these two smaller pieces, or the four smaller pieces that I cut. So let's see if I can put my project together now. All right, so here's the little box when I was all done. I covered it in washi tape, and this is washi tape by my friend Jasmine Lowe. So thank you, Jasmine. It was specially made, um, de designed by her, and I just love these bright, happy colors. So this is the little box that I made by gluing it all together, that clipboard wood that we cut. And now I can just use it and sit it on my desk as I want. So before I wrap up, I'd like to, to just tell you that the Zetter Cutter can be used for more than just cutting clipboard wood. You can also use it to cut paper. So I have a stack here of paper. I probably have six, seven pieces of paper here. And this is just standard card stock paper that was cut down. Um, and you have a guide that we can use to determine how far we're going to cut it. So I want to cut these in four by six pieces. So I'm going to move this to six. And this black arrow is pointing at the six at this point. So that lets me know that that's how far that's come out. So I make sure that my paper is put in here and it's flush against the guide rule here. And it's flat and flush up against the edge of the guide rule on this side. Make sure that it's clamped down and that my paper is snug and not moving anywhere. Now I know this probably won't cut it too, because it's still probably not thick enough, but just in case, we're gonna go ahead and start at two. And it just barely touched the surface. So then we're gonna cut to three. Make sure that you hold on to this grip again and bring it across and cut three. And then we're gonna finish cutting all the way through at four, unlock it and pull it out. And I have paper that is six inches long. Now I'm gonna bring my guide in to four and we're going to turn it back this way and cut, clamp it down. I'm going to start at two again, bring it across, move it to three, and then bring it to four and unlock it. And now I have paper that is nice, smooth, evenly cut at four by six that I can now make a mini album out of this or make card fronts, whatever I need to do. And I was able to cut that many pieces of paper at one time. So that's why I love my power tool. This is Zutter Cutter by Zutter. So hope that if you get the chance, you will try this out as well. So thank you. Bye.